Sophia, a large fire between Grand Jean and Stanley doubled in size overnight. It's prompting more than more level three go now evacuation orders. It's for those in Hanging Valley near Stanley and several Grand Jean summer homes and the Sawtooth Lodge. Abby Will, you spoke with some who were evacuated. What did you hear? Hunter, yeah, the Wapiti fire is now at 35,000 acres. Yesterday it was just at 17,000. So with that drastic growth, it is still only 10% contained. And let's take a look here at the range of this fire. As you can see, this is where the fire is and this is Stanley over here. So it is getting pretty close, but it is not there. And also Highway 12 is still closed. As you can see here, it's closed east of Lomond towards Stanley. So Highway 75 is an alternate route in and out of the Stanley area. And those I spoke with today say this fire is really sad and it really just is out of control. 7:30 last night and told us that we needed to pack up our camp and go. It was a little stressful. Hundreds are under evacuation notices from the Wapiti fire. It's rolled up really fast, which doubled in size in just 24 hours. Going in all kinds of directions. Dan Marler and Jesse Bueller own cabins in the Summer Homes area in Grand Jean. We have just lots and lots of memories. Yeah. It just goes way back. And they left Saturday. Now they say they are relying on social media and the Forest Service to keep them updated on their homes. Watching from the outside, and it's scary, but we've had some security footage that's given us some ideas what's going on up there. They say seven cabins have already burned. Those are people that uh, we've known, I've known most all my life. And at least three outbuildings at the Sawtooth Lodge in Grand Jean, which Bueller manages. He says they've lost at least $150,000 in revenue so far, just because of the closures. It's starting to affect more and more, and so it's, it's really sad to see it, but we're really hoping that um, we get some rain in the next couple of days and then uh, temperatures change. However, he says they are staying hopeful in order to return home soon. We're staying strong and we're not uh, we're not giving up. Just pray prayers for rain and yeah, keeping us in your thoughts. And I just got off the phone with a fire official and she says tonight they are expecting windy conditions that could cause more fire growth. So to stay updated on all emergency emo emergency notifications, you can text Custer to 99411 as you can see on the screen here, Hunter. Yeah, super important to be involved in what's going on. That's a great text message and also so sad to see that part happen to the community. Thank you, Abby.